Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to expand our basic attractor curve definition where this curve, uh, these circles react to this curve and expand this to where we don't have just two circles, a small circle and a large circle, but the radius of the circle is actually defined by its distance from the curve. So here's that dispatch uh, definition. You can go back and view that tutorial to get up to speed here but we can just go ahead and delete uh, most of these buttons. So now we're left with just our hexagrid, which I'll go ahead and preview again, and then our closest point, and that gives us a whole bunch of points on this curve that we've defined, um, and the closest point to each one of these individual points on our grid. So we're just going to uh, analyze these with a basic distance distance formula and this A will be these points on the on the CP button and then the B will be our original points and then this will give us a whole ton of values over a thousand values for just these, these points that we have here and then from there we just create some basic C in our curves uh, and these curves are going to be set on our hex geometry so on each one of these on the grid we'll unpreview the grid and you can see there's a circle on each of those uh, points there and then the uh, the radius of the circle we could set up to a slider but we want that radius to be defined by this distance so here you can see it's already giving us that so the grid is still there and there's just circles based on uh, the distance that this guy, the curve, is to each of those points. So we can reduce this down a little bit, and we'll take an f1 function and do uh, x over four. Let's do, and we'll send that through. Our, our radius so and we can turn off the the CP points unpreview that so here's a little bit more reasonable output where the circles are really small if they're close to this to the line but a lot greater if they're further away and just like our original point attractor definition uh, we can throw in a minimum and uh, ask it for the minimum point between either that function of the distance or the original distance between the points and it'll take uh, all the, the really large ones away so if this got really big and the further away they are the larger they get and it can really interfere with our geometry here if we just put a minimum on it'll take the smallest one so even if we get really far away it'll take uh, that the smaller value which is the distance between the points